All right, I don't know if you guys saw my original video. I'll put a link to it. It'll come up. Electric Company finally came out, put the uh, electrical meter in. This is the one that actually reads backwards and forwards. It tells the Electric Company if I've used any uh, electricity off the grid. And then they put in what's called the gen meter, which is the generation meter for the uh, solar panel system. This tells the uh, mass smart program how much uh, power I've actually produced or tells me how much power I've produced. So once this is all up and ready and you got the okay, we can go ahead and turn the system on. You're gonna turn on the circuit breaker. You're gonna turn on your uh, shut off switch. Your meter should be reading. We're gonna go ahead and pair the uh, solar edge high def wave inverter to the panels on the inverters on the roof. There's two switches here. You got this main switch here. This is gonna be turned to on. And then you got on this one, the switch, the red switch is right here. You got the I, that's the on position. O is the off position. And the switch is right here on the side. So right now we're gonna leave it in the off position. We're gonna turn this one to on. Sun's out, so it's kind of hard to see. Gonna hit the okay button one time. And you're gonna get this screen right here, right? So that's the system's off. We're gonna go ahead and press the okay button and hold it. Keep hold the button for pairing. Release to enter menu. There we go. Now we're gonna turn the switch to the on position. And now you got pairing in process. So now it's telling you pairing remaining 183 seconds. So now we're gonna to have to wait 183 seconds to uh, let this thing pair itself. Now you're gonna see that all three lights, power, calm, and fault, are actually flashing while this is in uh, progress. All right, we're almost there. Four, three, two, one. All right, now it's saying pairing completed. We just gotta wait. Now right, you're gonna see the screen here, volts, volts DC, pack, and you can see the power light still flashes, so it's still doing its thing. It's not even producing any power yet. There we go. Now the inverter is actually waking up. We got about 295 seconds for this inverter to wake up. Now while it's doing this, you're going to see the power button's going to blink. And every now and then you'll see the calm button blink. Or the calm light blink. Don't worry, everything's normal up to this point. And there's the calm light. Everything looks fine so far. Now if the screen goes out and you want to see the screen, just all you have to do is hit the OK button or touch it. The way they work is uh, they're touch sensitive. In other words, you just got to put your finger on them. You don't have to press them to uh, get the screen to work or do whatever you want it to do with the buttons. Seven seconds, six. All right, she's awake, and you're gonna hear a few clicks. There's gonna be relays inside here. They're gonna be clicking on and off for a few seconds, and we're on. 246 volts, 391 volts DC, and wattage 3,278. Okay, and she's on. We are producing power. That's basically how you turn on the uh, solar edge high def wave inverter. All right, so today is February the 20, 22nd. Solar system is up and running. And a year from now, I'll let you know how much money I saved with the system. If I save any at all. I really don't know. I'm supposed to save money. That's what they tell me. That's what the graphs they made up shows. I just uh, want to see if it's worth the investment. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Oh, and God bless.